We're going to factor 10a squared plus ab minus 3b squared. So to start, we'll just factor that 10a squared. So one possibility is having 10a times a. So we'll split it up in parentheses like this. And now we want to factor our minus 3b squared. So that could factor into negative 3b and b. So let's also write it over here with those flip-flops. So we'll write 10a plus b and a minus 3b. Now we're going to multiply those out and see if it gives us what we started with. So when we FOIL this one, we get 10a squared plus 10ab minus 3ab gives plus 7ab minus 3b squared. So we see that's not the one. Let's check this other one. So 10a times a is 10a squared again. Now we have negative 30ab plus ab, so that's negative 29ab minus 3b squared. So neither of those were the right way to factor it. So let's try just switching the positive and the negative sign. So let's write 10a plus 3b and a minus b. And then like we did above, we'll flip-flop the two, so 10a minus b times a plus 3b. So now multiplying this one out, we get 10a squared minus 10ab plus 3ab gives minus 7ab minus 3b squared. So that's not the one. Let's try our other one again. So 10a squared. So this is plus 30ab minus ab gives plus 29ab minus 3b squared. So again, neither of those are the trinomial that we started with. So now let's try factoring that 10a squared again. It can also be factored as 5a and 2a because 5a times 2a gives 10a squared. And then we're going to factor our negative 3b again. So let's try plus 3b and minus b and see what that gets us. And then again, we're going to flip-flop those two, so 5a minus b times 2a plus 3b. So multiplying this first one out, 5a times 2a gives 10a squared. Then we have 5a times negative b is negative 5ab plus 6ab is plus ab, and then minus 3b squared. So finally, we have the trinomial that we started with, so we can rewrite 10a squared plus ab minus 3b squared is equal to 5a plus 3b times 2a minus b.